Good afternoon. We're gathered here on the traditional territory of Treaty 7, and I'd like to acknowledge the Métis people of Alberta who share a deep connection and history with this land. I'm Kathleen Ganley, NDP Energy Critic and MLA for Calgary Mountain View. I'm joined today by NDP Finance Critic and MLA for Lethbridge West, Shannon Phillips. One of the things that makes Calgary great is how close we are to the Rocky Mountains. This access to some of the most breathtaking outdoor spaces in the world is a big draw for people wanting to live and work here, and that is a draw for business. It's no surprise that Calgarians were outraged when they learned of the UCP's plan to approve new open pit coal mines in the eastern slopes. We have all seen the lawn signs in numbers rarely seen outside of an election campaign. But it wasn't just Calgarians. Opposition to coal mining brought together a coalition of farmers and ranchers, indigenous communities, municipal leaders, environmentalists, even country music stars, and everyone who loves the breathtaking Alberta landscapes. Our NDP opposition held online forums that were attended by thousands of Albertans. In addition to protecting the mountains, many folks in southern Alberta were, and continue to be, deeply concerned about the potential for contaminating our water supply. The water that flows from the eastern slopes provides us with drinking water and water for agriculture. This isn't just a theoretical concern. As we recently saw in BC, coal mining creates the very real possibility of selenium poisoning. The UCP decision to reopen coal mining in the Rockies was terrible. It was bad for our drinking water and it could have destroyed one of the most beautiful places on earth. If we mine these beautiful places, we'll never get them back. We owe our children and future generations more than that. With all of this in mind, Rachel Notley has introduced the Eastern Slopes Protection Act, twice. A piece of legislation that would halt coal mining development in our precious Rockies. While the UCP have issued a ministerial order to stop harmful activities in the eastern slopes, they have clearly demonstrated, through their own actions, why legislation is needed, so that no one can ever revoke those protections on our mountains without notice or consultation. They have voted against such legislation to protect the mountains twice. Now, with Danielle Smith at the helm, proponents of mining our mountains are openly expressing a new hope that they can proceed with their previous plans. During the UCP leadership campaign, Smith was the only candidate who did not take a clear position against coal mining the Rockies, stating only that she would consult on the matter further. That's not good enough. Albertans have made their opinions clear, with signs, with objections, even in response to the UCP's own unnecessary survey. They have overwhelmingly rejected coal mining in the eastern slopes. Shannon and I are here to demand an immediate commitment from Danielle Smith that she will not reopen the discussion about coal mining in our mountains. We cannot wait. The reopening, then closing, and dithering of the UCP has already led to a great deal of destruction of sensitive lands and headwaters. The damage done from the UCP's coal exploration is significant. Furthermore, we're calling on Danielle Smith to express support for the Eastern Slopes Protection Act and to commit to working with the NDP opposition on the passage of this critical legislation during the upcoming fall session. Thank you, and I'll now turn things over to Shannon. Okay, thank you, uh, Kathleen. And I also want to thank our NDP environment critic, Marlon Schmidt, and our leader, Rachel Notley, for the work they have done to commit to Albertans that we will protect our mountains and our headwaters. And I want to thank them and all of the NDP caucus and the many, many thousands of Albertans who have spoken out against coal mining because it's so important to my constituents in Lethbridge. My constituents in Lethbridge the constituents of Livingston McLeod in the Pincher Creek and uh, other areas up the foothills where previously Danielle Smith said she was going to run. Constituents even in Brooks Medicine Hat where Danielle Smith is running but has not yet set foot have all said no to open pit coal mining in the foothills. Albertans recognize that we need 
to plan for our economic future in a way that protects our water, protects our agriculture, our tourism, our ranching industries. We do need a better plan to create good paying jobs now and for generations to come. The answer isn't more open pit strip mining of our headwaters. It's a resilient and diversified economy. It's an economy where farmers and ranchers can rely on our headwaters to service their crops, their livestock operations, where cities like Lethbridge, Medicine Hat can get safe, clean drinking water. And it's an economy where we can be prosperous by adding jobs, for example, in value added in agriculture, not by risking the value added agriculture jobs that we now have currently. So like Kathleen, I'm here today to call on Danielle Smith to issue a statement banning coal mining in the eastern slopes. People throughout southern Alberta and indeed people across the province support such a move. We are further calling on Danielle Smith to pass the Eastern Slope Protection Act this fall so that we can once and for all end plans to strip mine our mountains once and for all. So I will now turn things back to Kathleen. Thank you, Shannon. I know your constituents are aware of just how hard you worked uh, and led the charge to protect the, uh, Al Southern Alberta's water, sorry. Um, we're now happy to take any questions you might have. All right, just a reminder for those joining us on the phones to use the star nine function. And for those joining us on Zoom to use the raise hand function to get into the question queue. We will start with any questions in person. Uh, Ethan Montague, State News File. Uh, so I just have a couple questions here. Is the current pause by the UCP not enough in your eyes? Um, yes, it absolutely isn't enough. Um, and the reason it isn't enough is because the UCP's own past actions have demonstrated incredibly clearly why legislation is necessary. Uh, Law he brought in the coal policy in 1976. It stayed in place until the UCP removed it. They did so without any notice and without consultation with Albertans. This ministerial order can be revoked just as easily. The thing about legislation is that once it's passed by the House, it has to be removed by the House. So those legislative protections would require notice to Albertans. So they have a chance to put their objections on the record. Um, are you calling for a full ban on all coal mining across the province, full stop? We are calling for a full ban on all coal mining in the Rockies, yes. And uh, what does the NDP plan on doing with former employees if that passes? Former... Employees of like the, the mines, those employed at the mines? So what we're looking for is no new approvals. So there aren't, obviously on new projects, there wouldn't be people who are currently employed. Uh, but I think you raise a very valid point. We do need to consider uh, workers in any transition. And I think we have uh, demonstrated our, our willingness and intention to do that, both in, in policies that we have for the future and in actions we've taken in the past. Thank you. And more questions in person. Keith with CTV News Calgary. Uh, why do you think the government is ignoring people's concerns about this and just not shutting this down? I mean, I can't speak to the reasons that they're doing this. I know that in last instance, they met with coal lobbyists um, and that was the basis on which the decision was made. So they met with those coal lobbyists. They didn't meet with the rest of Albertans and they made a decision. And that's exactly what we're concerned about happening again, that uh, Danielle Smith has been taking those meetings and she isn't talking to the rest of the province about this. And so we're concerned that once again, we're going to get a wrong decision. And the last wrong decision has, has cost us, not only in terms of environmental damage, but in terms of the fact that we're presently being sued by some of those companies in to the tune of billions of dollars. Sorry, one last question. But considering people's outrage and environment, environmental concerns, you know, the climate situation, do you not find it amazing that they are even, you know, walking this path? Yeah, I mean, again, it's hard for me to speculate on why, why Danielle Smith might want to do something like this. Um, I think that they should be clear with Albertans. I think Albertans have been clear with the government. There is overwhelming objection. I think it's really clear that the risks uh, significantly outweigh the benefits, that the damage to both our environment and our economy significantly outweigh any possible damages. Um, so to me, it just seems like a, a very strange decision on her part and one that's probably being made again because she's talking to insiders and, and not talking to the rest of Albertans. All right, we'll now go to Zoom. Our first question comes from Catherine Gazowski at Alberta Today. 
Go ahead, Catherine, your line is open. Um, speaking of talking to other Albertans, um, as was reported by the Canadian press, apparently there's some suggestion of a referendum and taking this whole question to the rest of the province. Um, would you be supportive if that is the direction sh um, the Premier decides to go? Sorry, a referendum on coal mining? Yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, I would 100% not be supportive if that was the, des the direction they chose to go. I don't think we need a referendum on this issue. I don't think we need uh, to be suggesting or encouraging to people that this is uh, something we're going to do. I think Albertans have spoken loud and clear. Uh, I think we need to protect our environment and we need to protect our water. I mean, having said that, though, uh, uh, being a, an MLA from one of the affected areas where, I, you know, I, uh, uh, I have been talking to people for over two years on this topic, um, if Danielle Smith wants a referendum on this topic, I don't think she'd like the results. 80% uh, of Albertans have already said that they uh, disapprove of these plans to strip mine the Rockies. I would say it's higher than that. Uh, I, I've been spending hours and hours knocking on doors in Lethbridge and so has my counterpart in Lethbridge East. If Danielle Smith would like to um, make it an absolute certainty that she loses the Lethbridge East seat uh, to the NDP, she should put this topic on the ballot. Do you have a follow-up, Catherine? Yeah, and um, the UCP AGM is this weekend, and there is a resolution um, that talks about all the mistakes the UCP has made, um, including coal mining, and that they, they should um, have better consultation. And I'm wondering if those party resolutions are a way to, to send the message and... Um, if even the UCP party membership maybe agrees that they should listen? Um, well, I can't speak to what the UCP party membership agrees with, but I can speak to the fact that we think the best way forward is uh, the Eastern Slopes Protection Act. And the reason we think that is because once again, um, you know, we saw the UCP act without consulting with Albertans. Uh, now they're, they're suggesting that they might do the same again. Uh, and so this shouldn't be an issue that's easily revoked with the stroke of a pen. This should be an issue that has legislation to ensure that the public is aware and has a chance to make their voices known. Because as my colleague has uh, very succinctly pointed out, Albertans are against coal mining in the eastern slopes. All right, we'll go to our next question. Please state your name and outlet at the top. Go ahead, caller, your line is open. Hi it's, <clears throat> hi, it's Bob Weber from the Canadian Press here. Um, uh, Ms. Smith is expected to announce a new cabinet fairly shortly. Uh, would you like to see a statement from the new energy minister, whoever that may be, uh, with regard to the moratorium that keeps the, the, the coal policy in place? Uh, and if so, what would, you, what would you like the new energy minister to say? Um, I'd like to see a statement from Danielle Smith herself, and I would like it to be a very clear and succinct statement uh, that there will be no mining, no coal mining in the Eastern Slopes. Uh, and I would like to see a statement from her supporting the Eastern Slopes Protection Act so that Albertans can have that reassurance that the protections are in legislation. Would you be content with the status quo, which is basically, you know, the, uh, the, the 1976 policy in place protected by ministerial order? Um, I'm not content with the status quo, and the reason I'm not content with the status quo is because I think the 1976 coal policy did a very good job of protecting Albertans for a very long time, and then along came the UCP. And I think they demonstrated very clearly through their actions their willingness to act on this issue based on the words of a few insiders and lobbyists without consulting with Albertans, without any notice to Albertans. The result of that decision has not only been environmental damage, uh, but we're also being sued to the tune of billions of dollars as a result of their sort of dithering and back and forthing on this issue. So no, I, I don't think it's sufficient any longer. And the reason I don't think it's sufficient any longer is because the UCP have demonstrated uh, a complete willingness to act without the say-so from Albertans. Great, thank you, Kathy. Thank you. One last pass for question in person. And any other questions on the phone? 
All right, with no further questions, we will wrap today. Thanks, folks. Thank you. Thank you.